Welcome to Ticket Villa. Hey, Tony, do you like my uh, new shirt? I bought it at... Yeah. Boar, boar. I was going to say, I bought it from the market yesterday. Yeah, it's lovely. Ah, thanks. Would well, you like my trousers? Ooh. Well, boar, I bought them... Boar. Let me go. I was, I was going to say that I bought them last week and this is the first chance I've had to wear them. They are lovely, Tony. Oh. They're just right Please for... let me go. I was going to say that they're just right for jumping and dancing around the Ticket Villa... Help me, help me. Tamba. Tamba. I wonder what Tamba's up to. Come on, let's go and find out. OK, well, let's sneak up quietly. Good idea. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, hello. I'm playing a game. It's a game I made up by myself. Woolly has been captured by Munster Ellie. And Munster Ellie has taken Woolly to Dinosaur Island and hit him in the middle of the forest. Help me, help me, somebody help me. Nobody can help you now. You are my prisoner forever. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Fantastic. I used to play games like this when I was little. Come on, let's leave Tamba to play. No way, Tony. I want to see if Woolly escapes. My friends will help me escape. You wait, they will be here soon. But no one could get past Master Ellie. That's what you think, Master Ellie. Now, where is it? Uh, 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 oh, right. Um, but suddenly, from over the mountain, comes a superhero. Oh, I knew someone would come. It's Ankylosaurus Girl, with a bomby knucker club on the end of her tail. Great for smashing down trees. Oh, that tail will smash through the forest in no time. Yeah, a dinosaur. Great. OK, stand back. I'm going in with my bomby knocker tail. I'm going to smash down the trees. Bash! Crash! <laughs> there you are. Don't worry, Woolly. We're coming to rescue you. Thank you, Hanky Osaurus girl. There. Now to set you free. You can never escape, Woolly, because I will turn Anky Osaurus girl into a statue. <laughs> Oh no! Ankylosaurus girl's going to be turned into stone. What will Woolly do now? Da 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 da! Fear not, Woolly. Swooping down from the top of the mountain comes Tyrannodon Boy. He will come to your rescue, and he will zap Ankylosaurus girl back into a dinosaur. Saved you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tyrannodon Boy, and well done, Dinosaur Superheroes. Hello. <laughs> that was a fantastic story. Yeah. Oh, did you like it? Oh, yeah, Tamba. Especially the bit when Ankylosaurus Girl was turned into a statue, and I thought Woolly would never escape. <laughs> this is a great dinosaur island. Yeah. Oh, you've got trees. And over there, there's a swamp, and there are rocks. Oh, yeah, and over there, there's a mountain. Oh, that's not just any old mountain, Justin. Oh. That's a volcano. Oh. Have you ever seen a volcano erupt, Tamba? What does that mean, Tony? It's when a volcano explodes and lots of hot rocks come out of it. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. What does it look like? Well, I could show you how to make one if you like. Oh, yes, please. Well, all we need is two yoghurt pots that have stuck together and put some silver foil around and then I put it on a tray because it can get really messy. Now, all we need for this is half a cup of bicarbonate of soda and you tip that into the yogurt pot. There we are. And then I have three quarters of a cup of vinegar and I've just put some red colouring in here. 
and stirred it all about. Now, all we do, are you watching closely? Is you pour this in with the bicarbonate of soda and look at what happens. Wow, that's great. Mm, an erupting volcano. There, a perfect dinosaur island with an erupting volcano. An ankylosaurus, a pteranodon, and Ellie the monster. Have you ever pretended to be a monster? Would you like to? <laughs> Come and be monsters with us and pull some monster faces. Monsters marching down the street. Monsters march and meet and greet. Monsters marching down the street. Monsters march and meet and greet. Oh, hello, how do you do? Uh, pleased to meet you. <laughs> Monsters march and then they stop. Monsters spin round like a top. Monsters march and then they stop. Monsters spin round like a top. Spin away round and round. Are you spinning too? <laughs> monsters march, monsters walk. Monsters grin and monsters talk. Monsters march, monsters walk. Monsters grin and monsters talk. <laughs> what did you have for your breakfast today? Oh, the usual. A couple of trees and a plastic slime. Delicious. <laughs> Slow down, monsters, monsters creep. Softly, softly, go to sleep. Wake up, monsters! It's time to march again! Come and march with us one more time! Monsters marching down the street. Monsters march and meet and greet. Pleased to meet you again. How do you do? <laughs> I'm very well. Come on, let's march. Monsters march and then they stop. Monsters spin round like a top. Spin away round and round. Are you dizzy? <laughs> Monsters march, monsters walk, monsters grin and monsters talk. What did you have for your breakfast today? Oh, the usual. A small house and a couple of shine puns. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, monsters. Monsters creep. Softly, softly. Go to sleep. <laughs> Wake up, monsters! <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like the windows. And there are some monster sized animals through them today. But which one will it be? How many windows? One, two, three. Round, square, or arched? Which one will it be? <laughs> it's the round window. Can you guess what animal this is? Here are some clues. It has big feet. A long trunk. And two big ears. That's right, it's an elephant. These ones all live in Africa. The elephant is the largest animal that walks on Earth. Elephant ears are like giant fans. 
On a hot day, they flap their ears, which cools their whole body. Elephants have two long tusks. They can use them to defend themselves. Elephants use their trunks to drink. But the water doesn't go all the way up the trunk like a straw. Instead, the elephant sucks the water part way up and then curls the trunk towards its mouth, tilts its head up and lets the water pour in. They also use their long trunk to feed. An elephant's trunk is so strong it can push down trees. Or even pick up a single twig. Elephants love swimming in water to bathe and to cool down. Hey, look how this one is using his trunk like a snorkel. Elephants also love wallowing in mud. They roll around to coat themselves in the lovely cool mud. The mud helps protect them from biting insects and the sun. The mud works just like elephant sunblock. Elephants can make many different sounds. Can you hear a rumble of a trumpeting trunk? Let's look at all the different ways that elephants use their trunks. Drinking. Eating. Carrying. Snorkeling. And trumpeting. Whoa! Aren't elephants amazing animals? They've got a huge long trunk. <laughs> and two strong tusks that can push down trees. But best of all, they've got two huge floppy ears. Now I know a rhyme about big floppy ears, and why don't you join in with all the actions? Are you ready? Here we go. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Or can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? <laughs> We're going to play a trick on Tamba. Come and watch. Hey, Tamba, I've got something really special to show you. Ooh, what's that, Tony? It's my magic bag. A magic bag? What's magic about your bag? Well, all you have to do is ask it for anything that's in the Tickabilla house, mm -hmm. say the rhyme, yeah. and by magic it will appear in my bag. <sighs> Look, I'll show you. Magic bag, please make appear what I ask for and bring it here. Please bring me a teacup from Tamba's tea set. And it's flying round the house. It's flying round the house. It's flying round the house. And it's landing and it's here. Uh, hey! Wow! <laughs> Can I have a go? Of course! <laughs> are you ready, Justin? Uh, uh, who are you talking to, Tony? No one, Tamba. No one. Hmm. Right, you ready to say the rhyme? Okay. 
Magic bag. Please make it appear what I ask for and bring it here. Please bring me a fish from the dressing up box. And it's flying round the house. It's flying round the house. It's flying round the house. And it's flying over there. Oh, yeah. And it's coming into land. And it's here. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, well done, Justin. Uh, Tony, who are you talking to? No one, Tamba. No one. Hmm. Shall we magic something else? Oh, yes, please. OK. Hmm. Magic bag, please, please make it appear what I ask for and bring it here. Please bring me a fire truck from up in the attic. Hmm. Now, this one has to come from a long way, so oh. it might take a little bit longer to magic in, but it's flying round the house. Oh. It's flying round the house. It's flying round the house. Oh. And it's flying over there. Oh, over there. And it's coming into land. And oh. it's here. Oh, <laughs> that's fantastic. I want another go. OK, Tamma, mm. I think there's enough magic left in the bag. Good. Are you ready? Mm. Magic, magic bag, please make it appear what I ask for and bring, bring it here. here. Please bring me a teddy bear that I left on the swing chair. And it's flying hmm. round the What's house. Justin doing over on the swing the chair? It's I wonder. It's flying the house. And it's flying over Justin, there. Justin, you're and putting it in Tony's hand. Tony, <laughs> it's not a magic bag. You were teasing me. Oh, no, sorry, Tamba. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and as if by magic, the Tickabilla clock. Tickabilla. Tockabilla. Tickabilla, tock. What's the time on the Tickabilla clock? Shall we have a look? Well, the long hand is pointing straight up to the number 12. So that means it must be something o'clock. And the short hand is pointing to the number four. So that means it must be four o'clock. But what's underneath the clock? Oh, it's a magician's hat. And Sarah Jane and Justin are putting on a magic show at Higgledy House today. to help you. Hello, Justin. Sarah Jane's going to do some magic. You look nice, Sarah Jane. Justin, you have to help Sarah Jane with the magic. You look lovely, Justin. A table and walls. You need some flowers for the vase, Sarah Jane. Justin's got the flowers. <laughs> Sarah Jane, look at Justin. Tree 
Netflix, Sarah Jane. <laughs> ah, a fluffy rabbit. Are you going to make the rabbit disappear, Sarah Jane? both hungry, aren't you? Why don't you magic some food? Are they mean? Magic some more food. A Brussels sprout. You're still hungry, aren't you? Magic some more food. Munch, crunch, cheese and pickle for my lunch. Oh. What are you doing, Tampa? Oh, well, I'm trying to magic some lunch for myself, but it won't work. Oh, mm. Well, maybe I can do some magic. Can I uh, borrow your wand, Tampa? Mm. Right. I'm going to see if I can magic Tony into skipping Sue. Hey. Alakazam! Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I know what. I'm going to be Jumping Jack. Fizz, bang, wallop. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> Oh, and Tamber, of course. You can be running Raj. Abracababra. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. We're one big happy family. <laughs> We're a funny family. <laughs> <laughs> there was a funny family who lived along my street. I'd often see them going up the path. And even though primarily they all were rather sweet, they always seemed to make me laugh. Lemmy, 
tell you all about them. Are you ready? Here we go. There was a man called Jumping Jack, and all that he would do was jump to the front and jump to the back. Come on and do it too. Here we go. Jump, 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 jump. Jumping Jack, jumping Jack. Jump, 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 jump. Was all that he would do. You do it too. He had a wife called Skipping Sue, and all that she would do was skip to my darling, skip to my loo. Come on and do it too. Skip, 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 skip. Skipping Sue, skipping Sue. Skip, 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 skip. Was all that she would do. You do it too. They had a son called Running Raj, and all that he would do was run and run and run and charge. Come on and do it too. Clapping clear, and all that she would do was clap as if she didn't care. Come on and do it too. Clap, 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 clap. Clapping clear, clapping clear. Clap, 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 clap. Was all that she would do. You do it too. They had a dog who'd always bark. Can you guess his name? What do you think? Uh, um, well, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, that's right, his name was Barking Mark, and he'd do just the same. Come on, everyone! Bark, 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 barking Mark, barking Mark, bark, 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 and Barking Mark's his name. <laughs> what a funny family! And when they're all together, well, it's always lots of fun. Cos each of them just carries on in their own sweet way They're jumping, skipping, running, clapping, barking family Jumping Jack Skipping Sue Running Raj Clapping Claire Barking Mark <laughs> They always make my day They're a funny family <laughs> oh, well, it's time for us to go now. Yeah, but maybe you can try some magic at home. Woohoo! You could pretend to have a magic bag. <gasps> we'll see you next time. Bye bye! <laughs> Welcome to our CBeebies Advent Calendar with lots of festive fun especially for you. Every day before Christmas, just find the right window and click. You'll discover an extra special treat inside. Come on in. Yay! We've got lots of Christmas surprises just for you inside our gingerbread house. So make sure you pass a visit every day. Just go to bbc.co.uk slash CBeebies and join in this Christmas. <laughs>